Hey guys, welcome back to my video. This is Zero Gaming here. Without further ado, let's jump into our main topic today. Starting off with Ash. Ash is the one that actually get the Crystal Level 90 upgrade alongside Reno's FR. So I wasn't expecting her because I didn't check my calendar. But anyway, the only notable upgrade if you ask me, I mean notable rework, is that she gained the HP unique HP attack at quest start. So you can use it right away to activate her EX. Her EX now guarantee AoE paralysis. And she also has decent amount of HP dumps on her EX, which is 6 HP attack with 250% splash. So that is actually good damage. Overall, I think Ash is still a really good character. She has a very rare speed up passive. I don't think people actually like that most of the time because you want to use off turn and everything. But I think that that can be quite useful if you run a full on turn attack uh, on turn team. Since Ash is more suitable with on turn anyway with her turn manipulation and everything. So she's a strong enchanter as well since she enchants both Thunder and Holy Elemental. So it's more flexible on that part. Even her calls can be really good. I think her auras overall is also quite decent. Overall, like I said, I think Ash is a good character. Her EX refresh is extremely useful for a unit that actually has a strong EX nuke. Although it's not really that rare of a skill for you to rely on her because we have units like Lutes, we have units like Ram, Afma or Selfie to inc increase the EX recast gauge and everything. So it's not it's no longer just uniquely catered to her kit and she does get an fr and bt later down the line so if you're going to go for her i don't actually recommend going in this banner for that but she's still a very good unit the upgrade is still very decent so for those people that actually has her already like me you can actually enjoy her the bad part about her is of course the sucky base skill regardless of the rework and everything she's still very slow even though she has that speed up passive, it doesn't help. And her EX recast gauge is also particularly slow too. So if you're not relying on her LD or her HP attack to actually refresh your EX, it might take a little bit off from her turn to activate that EX. Although, like I said, the guaranteed paralysis AoE is actually quite nice to have. So that's that. Anyway, moving on into Reno. Reno does get even more rework. I mean, I shouldn't be too surprised when his Crystal Level 90 came, he doesn't get a rework in his skill 1 and skill 2, which is quite surprising. So he does get rework now, although only with more HP attack. His LD also get another rework, but right now the reworks only include dispelling the buff from all target instead of just the specific target, and improve his LD buff which provide 10% HP damage up to himself. So not really that much of a rework on this part. His uh, FR though is really what you want to look at. It's a 3 AoE split uh, Thunder HP attack and inflict the LD debuff on all targets. So nice, another use of that LD debuff which is quite rare. And the condition for the FR is actually for the entire party to deal Thunder Bravery attack on turn. And of course, if the enemy takes a turn, it also adds another 20% to his FR condition uh, HP damage bonus up. And if the enemies that takes a turn deals a physical attack, it'll add another 30%. So based on this, you can see that if you're facing a physical attack enemy, you can gain up to 50% every time the enemy takes a turn, which is exactly what Reno Stage is all about. And the party dealing Thunder Bravery attack part for Reno is kind of sad because he doesn't enchant the entire party with uh, Thunder Bravery attack. He only has it on his own kit. So if you really want to rely on this particular condition, you want to run unit with Thunder and Chant. For example, Kral, Dash, Raijin, or you can even run units that already have Thunder built in their kit, like uh, uh, Beatrix. But the best part to actually run Reno is actually having a slow counter unit to capitalize on the second and the third condition. Units such as Orin, which is very popular right now among uh, those to run Reno with. And of course, Galoof and even Beatrix fits in this one as well. But to be honest, you don't really have to be you have to worry about the first condition too. Even if you're not running units like Crow or Raijin or Dash in the party, because we have units such as I mean we have LD calls such as Ash LD call, which is featured in this banner as well, or Crow's LD call that also promotes uh, Thunder and Chant. So it's not really a big of a problem to fulfill his first condition. And like I said, he's basically, he's actually basically an upgraded Dash FR. So Dash FR actually requires the enemy to take a turn while being paralyzed to increase his HP damage condition, 
whereas Reno just requires them to take turn. You see the, the awkward part of dash FR right there? And then if the enemy has another stage where he deal physical attack, then Reno can increase a little bit more to 50%. So that is extremely huge for off turn damage uh, team composition. So basically Reno FR really shuts out dash FR at this point because there's really not much reason to use dash FR considering the fact that he paralyzed the enemy while being an off turn, while relying on off turn team composition. But paralyzed means that counter is off the table. So that part is also not looking good for a dash team composition. But anyway, um, Reno as a character though, if you're not running his FR, he's still a very good uh, protection unit. He does as a very unique LD debuff that protects your entire party from one particular action from the boss, regardless as whether or not they're applying a debuff to your entire party or they're doing their bravery attack or HP attack. The only problem is unlike Raijin, uh, he only lasts for one turn and if the enemy takes the action off turn it still counts and the debuff will go away so that part is a little bit sad but the Reno's debuff can prevent a certain mechanism that Raijin's LD call can't so that can be a good thing to have in an emergency situation anyway Reno's kit actually promotes physical attacker uh, from your party and from the enemy so if the enemy has a physical attack he will reduce their damage and if your party has physical attack it will increase your party's damage so that part is actually quite specific but anyway it's still a very good enable for physical attacker his skill one though if you want to rely on his skill one then you best not use his fr or vice versa if you're using his fr best not to use his skill one since his fr actually requires enemies to take turn and his skill 1 actually delays the enemies if they use physical attack. So that part doesn't synergize really well with his entire kit. And to be honest, his FR is a weird one. His condition is great, don't get me wrong though. But his FR doesn't really seem to synergize well with how his, his kit works. Since he delay and then he, uh, he doesn't have, have any counter to actually justify him being an off turn unit. So like I said, it's a really weird FR to be given to this character, but nonetheless, it's a very good FR. So my opinion on this banner is that it's a really good option for you to go for to build a often team composition. Uh, we don't have much often choices until later down the line. So Reno is actually a good pickup for your team composition if you're running a pure often team. So yeah, I think Reno can be really good. I personally am going to skip him because of the fact that I already have dash and I don't have a lot of power stones. So I'm only going to pull him on my alternate account, but I will. I guess I will have fun with him. I already have Oren and Galoof and every off turn I can to build in that account. So I guess it's not going to be a big problem. Looking forward to run his kit though. I never ha actually have him in JP. So I think he'll be really good there. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today. If you're going to pull for him, do let me know down in the comments below and let me know what you guys think of this character's kit. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.